Well, finally, uh, you guys had a taste last year of what to expect. It's the first. Uh, you can look at me, don't worry. Uh, it's the first. It's the first uh, Senza under 20. What expectations going into the tournament? Oh, I think firstly we're excited and grateful that this tournament is happening. It's probably been a long time coming. Um, for us, a good opportunity to test our systems, uh, to really grow in terms of the behaviours that we want to be consistent in the group. And the next biggest thing is an opportunity to prepare as a group and to grow together as a group. Uh, obviously, it's not to say everyone that's in the group will be part of the World Cup team, but the idea is that you know the core of these guys will take them those and will take on those experiences and use them going forward. I mean, I know the long-term goal is obviously the World Cup, the Junior World Cup, but uh, just in terms of getting out, are you aiming to obviously win the tournament and, and who's going to be your biggest rival around there? Look, Argentina in our group, so it's important to sort of get an idea of how they play and how they do things. Uh, you know, if I say the biggest rival, it's going to sound weird, but it's probably ourselves because we just need to know where our systems are. You know, the challenge with in the past is that we've got into tournaments completely cold and not knowing what we're capable of and what works and what doesn't work for us. So that and the nice thing in terms of the teams you're playing against, you know, New Zealand play traditionally anyway, I don't know what they're going to be like, you know, at junior level they've got a good forward pack with a f very fast brand of rugby and I think that's something we're going to face potentially against England, uh, so that sort of helps us prepare for that. Uh, I think Fiji and New Zealand have got a similar type of style, uh, the player quality might be the same, I don't know, but we're going to play Fiji first up, you know, so we're looking at that as a replica. I think Australia tactically very good and technically I thought they had a very good World Cup last year just you know one or two results at junior level go against you so I'm expecting them to pick up and carry on and they've got the same coaching staff Last year you guys were caught up, out a bit on the physicality in the Junior World Cup especially against some of the Six Nations sides when do you think this is going to level the playing field and how much work have you done in terms of that as well? I think it's going to help there's no doubt about that and you know the beauty of a junior tournament is that every year it's a new team and it's a different team the, the fact is the new the, the six nations teams are still ahead of us just purely because they get together in november uh, they play under 16 six nations and 18 six nations so from that perspective we've got a bit of catching up to do but as a group um, you know there's a couple of guys here that experienced last year and they know the hurt of that uh, for us, it's also been emphasizing what test rugby is about, which is really, if, it, if your set piece doesn't function, it, it's, it's, it's heck of a tough. You know, and we survived last year. I mean, I keep saying to everyone, not for anything, I think the group did well to come third, extremely well. Tough third, but extremely well to come third. So hopefully this year we can again apply those lessons, but knowing we're a different team and a new team that's got its own mission. Um. The Hana, yeah, physicality is going to be, well, not going to be a problem. You said when you played against the provincial side, that was your first uh, goal to see who can physically stand up. Where in your preparation, or what's the percentage in your proper preparation for the World Cup where you think you now? We're probably a little bit far from the World Cup, and as far as, and, and not necessarily from a preparation point of view, I think the first thing you've got to see is really test your systems, and then you know what's working, what doesn't work, you can move, you can sift things out, and that type of thing, and then making sure that the boys are aligned. I think once we get those things in place, then the World Cup preparation almost looks after itself, if, if I can say that. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about the work that we've done. More than anything, it's been, I keep talking about behaviors that are consistent. It's really been something that we've been drumming into our boys. You know, we don't just want to be a physical team. We still need a good skill set. We still need to be tactically aware and tactically smart as well. So a combination of those things, they come in. I think we're on the right track. Do you see yourself moving more towards the type of rugby that Rossi played with the senior Springboks? The difference with the junior team is that your profile changes year in, year out. You know, uh, I think last year would have been a big mistake for us to think that we can play same side and take teams on. We didn't have the pack for it, uh, but what we did have last year is that we had a good kicking game of 9, 10 and 15 and we used that to our advantage. Uh, you know, I look at this year's team, I think they can evolve. There's a nice balance between backs and forwards. Um, and I think a balanced kicking game is just about how we find that to make it work for them. You just mentioned that um, <coughs> that this team is not the final team for the World Cup. Is there players that's injured in that? I don't want you to name them with that, but are you still waiting for a few players to come back? Yeah, there's a few guys that are injured. I'm not necessarily waiting for them to come back. Obviously, 
as I've said to these players, they've got an opportunity now to put their hands up. You know, so they've been given the license to go perform and do the right things. There's guys that are injured that missed out on selection. There's guys that were very close to selection through Varsity Cup, through the different provincial unions that are not here. Uh, and they know that, you know, if these guys aren't bringing what we expect of them, there's other guys that are waiting in the wings to sort of produce. And that's what we want. We want depth and competition. So you're ready to be crew? <laughs> Just about, yeah. I think. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.